Hello, welcome to another Wednesday video. Today we're going to be making this really pretty card using just dies. That's just ink blending and then added some splatters. So let's talk about what we're gonna need. For the sentiment, we used this right here, showers of joy. Let's see if we can see this better. There we go. Showers of joy, and we're using this sentiment, just a note to brighten your day. So that's the stamp set. For this stencil, we're using just this one, rain and shine. So that stencil. We're using the scalloped rectangles die for around our border. We're using the scalloped sentiment labels die for our sentiment. And we're using this side daisy die. And you can see here that we've used it in different ways. So I've used it for tops and then turned it around for what it was originally intended for and used it for the bottom. If you can see the embossing right here from the stencil, that is from using with the Sizzix, my Sizzix, Big Shot, these two things. One's a rubber silicone mat. And then this plastic shim. So that is how I created the embossing. For my distress oxide colors, for the greens, I used Twisted Citron and Rustic Wilderness. For the flower portion, seedless preserves. And for the brown tops, vintage photo and ground espresso. For the splatters, I'm using white gouache. For my blending brushes, I'm just using these blending brushes that I've gotten from Amazon. They're really great, great detailing brushes. They get into the small places. I have both kinds of brushes, but these ones I use for this kind of blending. So, all right, let's get into the make. Okay, taking the side daisy die, we're gonna cut it out of white card stock four times. Right now, all you see are two. We're gonna take the small blending brush in seedless preserves, and we're gonna use small circle pattern motions towards the ends, but leaving the tips white. So small circles and blending towards the ends, but not getting the ends.
Okay, taking a vintage photo, we are going to be using that for the tops of our flower. And in circle motions, just going down to where it is pink, but not going too far down. Using ground espresso, we're going to use that with our brown brush and just stippling on over the top to give it texture. Taking Twisted Citron, we're going to do the leaves and doing the lightest color first. So we're just going to ink the leaves in a circular motion. Using our Rustic Wilderness with the same brush, I am just going to be lightly going over the edges, um, not doing maybe the whole thing, but like in the centers and at the base and leaving the tips uh, light, like on this leaf. I'm gonna leave the tips the light green, but because I have the light green already there, it's giving the rustic wilderness a softer muted look. All right, let's pop these out. They come out super easy and these flowers are so beautiful. I love them. Look at the leaves. And because we left the tips white, it's just gonna give it that much more of a pop. Alright, using my art glitter glue, I'm just going to start gluing these together and then we're going to start on the second set of flowers.
Okay, just finishing that up. They are adorable. And here is our second set. And we're gonna be going through this just a little bit faster since we already know what to expect, except this time, instead of the brown tops, we're going to be doing the green bottoms. So that's what we're doing in this one. We don't need to do those leaves because we're not using them, so I'm just popping these out. And I'm just hitting the edges a little bit with the Rustic Wilderness. I didn't do that one before, so I'm just doing it now. Just finishing up this portion of getting our flowers ready and gluing those little teeny tiny buds on the stems. This project is coming along perfectly. All right, now we're going to be cutting out our blue paper with our scalloped rectangles die and taking our stencil and running it through our big shot. Now, the pattern to do that is base plate, rubber mat, paper, then top plate. And then you get the embossed look. So, that again, that is base plate, rubber mat, paper, and then top plate. I'm gonna glue down my flowers, but not going all the way down my stems because we're gonna be chopping off some of the bottom portion of those stems. I'm going to be gluing them down in different heights to give it more of an appealing look. So not everything is going to be the same height. are trimmed off and with a splatter brush and white gouache we're going to give it white splotches. Okay we're going to stamp out our sentiment on black paper. I'm using Versamark ink for my ink of choice. I'm using embossing buddy to get off all the extra static on the paper so that my white embossing powder doesn't stick to where I don't want it to be. All right, 
right, with our scallops labels die, I am going to cut that out with my Big Shot and gluing it down. I think this card's turning out pretty cute. I'm adding just a few little sequined beads. These are flat back jewel beads. And I am just putting about five down in random places just to make it a little more appealing. Last one. All right. There it is. Our all die card. Isn't it beautiful? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and come again. Thanks.